Uh, today we are going to determine the diameter of a human hair by using laser diffraction technique. In this, this technique is based on Young's double slit experiment where the formula we are using is uh, D is equal to lambda small m capital D upon y m. Here the, the small d is the diameter of the hair or where whatever will be the object whose diameter we are going to determine. Lambda is the wavelength of the light used. Here we are using a helium neon laser whose wavelength is 632 nanometer. Capital D is the distance between the mounting bracket and the screen wall. And YM is the distance from the central maxima to the center of the mth order maxima. To uh, find the capital D that is the distance between the uh, mounting bracket and the screen here we are uh, measuring this distance with the help of a uh, here we are determining the distance capital D with the help of a measuring tape and uh, this is the uh, mounting bracket where the uh, thin hair is fixed here this, this is the hair and we have to measure the distance from the mounting bracket to the screen. So in our case the distance is 1 meter. This is the screen and the distance is 1 meter. So here I am writing this capital D as 1 meter. Lambda is 632 nanometer. Here we are using a helium neon laser whose wavelength is 632 nanometer. This is the diffraction pattern what uh, we obtain on the screen. So this is the central maxima. This is first order, second order, third order, fourth, fifth. Likewise we will get n number of uh, diffraction uh, maxima. And now we will note down their positions. We will mark these positions. This is the central maxima. And this is the, these are the edge of this central maxima. This is the first order. We will mark the beginning and the end of this maxima. Then second order. Third order. Likewise in the left hand side also we will mark their positions. first order, second order, third order maxima. We have marked their positions. Now we will remove this white sheet that we have put on the screen and with the help of a scale we, we can note down the distance of this maxima. So this is our this is our central maxima. So we can note down the initial point of the first order maxima and the final point of the first order maxima. Now this distance is the initial point is uh, 1.3 centimeter. So here this is our serial number 1. Order of the maxima is 1. The uh, So this is our uh, central maxima. So from the central maxima we will measure the uh, initial point of the um, left hand side maxima and it is 1.3 centimeter. So here I am writing it is 1.3 centimeter. Then we have to note the final point of this uh, maxima that is uh, 2 centimeter. So it is 2.0 centimeter. So the mean will be it is 1.3 plus 2.0 upon 2. So this gives us the value of ym and then we can use this value of ym to calculate the t. So, so now we can calculate the diameter of the wire that is small d that is equal to lambda small m d. So here lambda is 632 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter 
m is the order of the diffraction pattern here we are taking the first order so i am writing 1 and capital d is the distance that is here we have taken as 1 meter so this is lambda small m d i have written the values and our y m is 1.65 y m is 1.65 centimeter or we can write it is 1.65 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter so here i can write 1.65 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter so when we uh, simplify it we will get it as 3.83 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter or when we express this in millimeter we, we, will, we can write it as 3.83 into 10 to the power minus 2 millimeter so the diameter of the wear wear or hair here we have we have used a human hair so the diameter of the hair is found out to be 3.83 into 10 to the power minus 2 millimeter Mm. Uh, in this way we can take number of readings uh, this uh, this calculation i have shown it for uh, uh, first order uh, maxima we can take number of readings uh, up to 10 maxima in the left hand side here i have taken the left hand side reading we can calculate this for the left hand side and right hand side and we can find the mean value of all the readings and we can measure the diameter of the hair so thank you if you have any queries you can Contact me.